Hello, everybody. Regular checks. Can you hear me? And can you see me? My assumption is always yes, unless somebody's like, hey, we cannot hear or see you. And I'm just realizing I don't have my chat up. So one moment, I need to make sure that I get that chat. There we go. Hello, Alan. Hope we can see Terminator at Carnival where there will be so many traps. Well, that would be fun. Yes, thank you, Chloe. Very good. Okay, welcome to the stream, everybody. We're back for another Wicked Wednesday. And today, my friends, we don't know how it happened, but we do have a story. We have in Kanyamba at the Carnival of Blood, a little far away from home, versus Cindy the Elf. It just is what it is. Sometimes in life, elves gotta fight deities, you know? It just is what it is. Looking at the hourglass would be cool if a feature film had a time limit and came with an hourglass. Oh, that would be extra stressful. You must love stress. I feel like if I had an hourglass, all I could think about is like, I don't have time. Christmas at the Voodoo Circus. Exactly. Cool. Well, maybe let's uh, jump down here and I'll chat a little bit about what we've got going on today. Um, there's one thing that everybody should know. In Kanyamba is my personal arch nemesis. I have never defeated him um, forever ago. I did a playthrough <laughs> with Inkanyamba, uh, like just the the set, and I was coming so close, and then it just went super downhill. It's a very old video. Quality's not that great, but that's fine because I super died. Um, okay, so the Discord selected Inkanyamba. They selected Carnival of Blood, and they selected Cindy. One of our uh, Van Ryder Games Discord members also wrote a little story, which I will read before we actually get started. But let's just talk about any of the minor differences that come with any of these component things. So starting with Inkanyamba, AKA Inky, AKA The Avenger, AKA, AKA. So his biggest thing is that he comes with, let's see if I can, zoom in a little bit more. He comes with killer wrath. So no divine wrath here because that is the sacred groves thing and not uh, in Kenyamba. So we are going to be coming into contact with these red lightning bolts. And anytime we see a red lightning bolt, it's either going to tell us that we need to increase or decrease killer wrath which we will be doing on this track and I need to, it starts at three, I believe I'll need to double check. And then this little thingamabop is gonna be moving up and down. We're just gonna leave that to the side. Um, or it's going to tell us to unleash the killer wrath. If that is the case, we'll see if this is a better view of it. So if we unleash whatever it says is what we are going to be doing. So if we're on four and it says unleash a killer wrath, we're gonna increase horror. Uh, they're going to target whomever is closest and then they're gonna to move towards that person, whether it be final girl or victim. So that's kind of the main thing with Inkanyamba. Um, he doesn't really have anything going on here. Does he? I don't think. Is that only with the sacred groves? Yeah, so nothing is gonna really be happening throughout here, but we're not really worried so much about that. We're more worried about killer wrath. Then we are at the Carnival of Blood, which is typically Geppetto's domain. The biggest thing with the Carnival of Blood is that we have traps that could be set. Now, in each one of the three item piles, there is a trap shuffled in. We know it's obviously not on the top, but it's in one of the three cards underneath. 
So traps do bad things. Makes sense. In the terror deck, there's also terror traps. So there's item traps and there's terror traps. The terror traps come up if we pull a terror card that has the terror trap on it and we have a little terror trap reference which is going to tell us how to deal with said traps. Um, the only other thing I think is the atonement cards and that comes with Inkanyamba. This is kind of the primary way that we're gonna be able to decrease Killer Wrath. So um, another unique thing about this and I'll do a little zoomy zoom here, woo, is that you can see there's a three star option. So if we happen to be lucky enough and get three dice and can roll three stars, uh, there is an added benefit there as well. Okay, so I think those are the main things and obviously let's chat about Cindy. Cindy only has five health and Kenyamba has nine. So that's fun. Every time we save a victim, Cindy gets to move one space. When Then once we flip her card, so she only needs to save four victims, so that's not so bad. What's going on in here? Oh, look, that's Jeff. <laughs> Jeff, you should be learning games or you can hang out, that's fine too. So Cindy, once she fills all four of her victim slots, when resolving a walk or sprint card, you may treat a non-star result as a star result. So she is all about moving. She's very, very fast, okay? Cool, I think that that's pretty much it. So what I wanna do is I want to read to you the story of how we got here, okay? How did we get here? How did Inkanyamba get here? Why is Cindy not in the North Pole? So I'm just gonna pull up the story, all right? I need to move it closer to myself because I'm not wearing my glasses. Here we go, time for the story. Cindy, an elf raised by humans, is looking forward to her favorite time of year. No, it's not Christmas. It's the summer carnival, obviously. She loves the food, the laughter, and the joy that accompany it each year. Unfortunately, someone just got back from the sacred groves with a forbidden souvenir, rut row. And Inkanyamba will have none of that and has hunted the culprit down to Cindy's hometown. Will Cindy be able to stop Inkanyamba and save her friends and family? Will Inkanyamba get revenge for the gods of the sacred groves? Okay, so that's the story that we're working with here. In case anybody was wondering, how did we get here? That's how we got here. Uh, we were also chatting about how, why Cindy is an elf raised by humans, and it's just reverse of Buddy the Elf. Do you remember how he crawled into Santa's sack and went to the North Pole? Well, when Cindy was a baby, she crawled into Santa's sack and went to the human world got left under a tree okay that's just how that's just how life works sometimes when you're an elf okay so i'm just gonna get the chat reset up here great story i agree and shout out to alan for writing that shouts out to alan i gotta move the chat up here so i can see all right I think we're ready to get started. Like I said before, I am a little bit nervous because I have never, <laughs> never beat in Kanyamba. So a little scary. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to shuffle around the final heart tokens and we are going to select one for Inky and one for Cindy. And we are going to hope for the best. Three hearts for me, no hearts for him. All right, boom. Ooh, Killer Wrath starts at two, thank you. Two, not three. Perfection. Okay, let's get started and we will pull our first event. Oh boy, employee transport. Looks like someone left the keys in the cart. Place the, ooh, a golf cart. Yoo-hoo, okay. 
Place the golf cart token in any of the four corner spaces. Hmm. Well, I guess I could put it here. <gasps> no, that's not really connected to me. Let's put it up here at the Ferris wheel. During upkeep, you and or up to two victims in the space with the golf cart may drive it up to two spaces, but the golf cart must stay on the outer path. If the golf cart is driven into a space with an enemy, you may discard it to do three damage. Ooh, so it can only go on the outside path is what I'm understanding, not the inside path. You and or the victims can also drive the cart. Oh, I wonder. Maybe I should. I Maybe I should move it in a space with a victim then. If I don't need to be there. Let's keep this right in front of us because I'm going to forget that that's a thing that I can do. Say, this sacred grove would be a great place to put up a Ferris wheel. It's always a first for everything. It is true. It is true. Okay. Let's go my turn so it's really i don't want to say it's easy <laughs> to flip cindy's card but she only needs to save four victims so i am nervous about this one because he's right next to Inkanyamba. so we could start to make our way here that's not a door now nah, let's let him move his own butt. So I think what I want to do is I want to try and come around here because there's three victims right here. We could just kind of boop, sweep them right out the exit. If people are thinking that's a good idea, I also feel like that is a good idea. All right, so let's, ah, what am I doing? We must always start with a focus. And we'll use the middle dice just to see. Oof. Okay. So we got two threes. So we will get rid of a short rest and a weak attack to flip one. And that is going to let us decrease horror, but we will lose one time. But that's okay. Now we'll go for a walk. And hope that our dice don't betray. No betray. It was a close, very close to a betray. All right, so we got one star, so we can move up to one space. So I'm going to come in here with this one. And you can see that kind of a little bit. We will lose one time. <sighs> okay. Well, the thing that I always do is I always use all of my cards immediately. <laughs> I don't know. No, I do know that that's not a good strategy, but it is my strategy. Let's see about the golf cart. That's not till during upkeep. So we're not doing nothing. Let's just try and walk again. Why not? Whoa, geez Louise. I'm very aggressive today. So we got one star, so we will be moving one space. So we'll come in here with these two down here and we'll lose one time. I am going to stop at that point because we only have three, three to buy and I could sell my focus to have four. I don't know. Should we? I kind of want to, I think, yeah, I think we will. I'll sell that. All right, so now we're gonna stop and go shopping. So we definitely want a sprint card and we could, I want to sprint out here. I'm wondering if it's a good time to just grab a search card, even though I won't really be able to use it. I could just get two sprint cards. Actually, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's a bad idea, but I'm doing it. <laughs> okay, so we got two sprint cards. Everything else is going into our discard. And now, put that back up six. We are over to the Inkanyamba himself. So, Inkanyamba, Killer Phase. If Killer Wrath is at one or two, 
increase it by one. Okay, so maybe I'll put Killer Wrath. Let's just scoot, boot scoot and boogie him over a little bit. So we'll move Killer Wrath to three, and then you guys can see it better. Okay, weep. All right, done. Then he is going to target whomever is closest and he is going to do a little stabby stab. However, he is not moving and there's nobody in his space. So as per usual, killer stabs the air and that just looks so silly. All right, let's do terror, okay? Wrath of Defilers, ah shoot. All right, so we have to show you here. We are going to unleash Killer Wrath. So we'll do that first. So if you remember, we look to see where the Killer Wrath is and it is telling us to increase horror. So we decreased it only to increase it. Then we increase Killer Wrath equal to the number of victims that have been saved. Luckily, no victims have been saved. Then, oh, He's never gonna get to use his golf cart. Okay, then he's going to target the closest victim, move towards them, and kill them. So, it's a bummer. It's a bummer is what it is. All right, so he is going to move here. <sighs> he is going to kill little Bobby Sue. R.I.P. Bobby Sue. And now he's got the golf cart. Luckily, he can't use it. But that's it. We will increase bloodlust by one. That's a bummer. I can't believe somebody died already. Ooh. Actually, yes, I can. Why? Because Inkanyamba is ruthless. It just is what it is. All right, back over to me. I only have two sprint cards. So the plan here, I think, is going to be get these people to this space. All right, we are... We are running. And I couldn't move the golf cart because nobody was in the space. If anybody's like, why? Why no golf cart? Well, Bobby Sue died. I never got to use a golf cart. It happens. All right, so let's sprint and try and save some peeps. Mm. Or let's not. I didn't really feel like running anyway. I only have one card, so I can't discard to change that. So if no stars, ah, oh, shoot. I'm gonna do this, I think. We can either move one space, lose a heart, lose two time, and end our turn, or we can lose a heart, lose two time, and continue. But I think the smart thing to do here is to move one space, lose one heart, lose two time, stop our turn. Because remember, Cindy's just gonna let us move again. So I'm gonna go back up here, actually. So we are gonna move, whoopsies, slippery. So Cindy is moving with two victims over, my camera is crooked today. Let's do this. Okay, so she is moving over to the exit and we'll be saving Jack and Jill, okay? They want it to run up that hill. Meaning we are gonna be putting these on Cindy's spaces and if you remember, all of her save victim spaces are to move one space. So move one space for the first victim, move one space for the second victim. Okay, would you look at that? We save somebody else. We get to move one more space. And I am thinking I would like to move up here. Then we have to lose two time, lose one heart. <laughs> no, we don't have very many hearts. Uh, and then we're gonna stop our turn. So if you ask me, that felt decent considering. And then I have a sprint card that I can use next time. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. In Kenyama games always end in high victim death counts. <laughs> Truth. I mean, we've already got one. He didn't even, like, he is such a thief of joy. He didn't even let Bobby Sue go for one ride in a golf cart before he killed her. 
And I just think that's quite rude. So we have four to spend. We will get back all of our zero and I still have a sprint. So are we not really close to any of the search areas? Four to spend. I wonder if we have four, do we just buy a Furious Strike card now and have it? I don't hate the idea, but I also don't hate the idea of getting a distraction card. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get a distraction and then a close call and then that's our four. All righty. Oops, this sprint goes back because it has been used. Off to Inkinyamba because apparently he also has to have a turn. So we will increase Killer Wrath. It's up to, up to four. Uh, oh no, wait, we don't because it's not on one or two. If one or two increase, so it's not, it's on three. <clears throat> then he is going to target whomever is closest, not moving. So once again, I think he just stabbed, he just stabbed the golf cart tires. So nobody's gonna get to enjoy that. All right, tarot card. <laughs> Fickle temper. Make a horror roll. So we get to do different things based on what we roll for our horror roll. So we're either going to be decreasing Killer Wrath or unleashing it. And then is a victim going to die? Yep, definitely a victim is going to die. <laughs> All right, so let's do the horror roll, shall we? Cardi, no! We could call the golf cart Cardi B. I'm just saying it. I'm just saying it out loud so everybody can hear it. Oh, crap. All right, so no successes. Obviously, I think we could discard two cards to turn that into a success. Um, should we do that? I think, I think we could do that. It's a horror roll, so I should be able to do that. And I think I will, I will discard two cards to turn the three into a six. And then that way we have one star, which means that we can choose, well, we don't have divine wrath because we're not using sacred groves. So we will decrease killer wrath by one. Okay, then, because it's not over yet, my friends, then what we're gonna do is he is gonna move towards the closest victim. Oh, that, oh no, yeah, that one's gonna die. Okay, so he moves to one, two, and he will kill. <laughs> uh, and this is Stuart. Barely even got to see anything at the carnival. He didn't even go into the inner circle. Bloodlust is going to go up one. We are one away from revealing dark power. So that's nice. That's super nice. All right, so that's it for him. We are one away from flipping Cindy. But I think what we're going to start off with Stuart just got there. He really did. He came in the entrance and then his kappa got detated. It happens. I think we're going to go for the distraction. Woo! Spinny dice. So let's just hope for the best. Woo! Hope for the best. Get the best. Two star. Two star queen. Two star queen. Which means we get to decrease horror by two. Increase, oops, that should be up here. Increase time by two. I, I have to say it out loud, but the distraction card, I think is one of the best cards. There, I said it. My opinion. All right. Um, I could now do a focus and try and get three dice, and I think that's what we should do. Because why not? <laughs> I love dice. Perfect. So we got one star. So we decrease four and we're gonna lose one time. But now we get three dice and three is in fact better than two. Let him get a corn dog at least. He had his moment. 
and he lost it. Um, okay, so I have two walks and a sprint. I think we should probably use the sprint and try to get at least one more victim. That's what I think we're gonna do. So let's sprint. All right, so we can move up to two spaces. Huh. I think these people are a lost cause. So let's go here, one, two. I think that makes the most sense. Where was I, one, two, or I could have gone here, but that's too close. So I think we're good. One, two, and we're gonna lose one time. So the question now becomes, do I walk again? What things to astonish? So the crystal ball is in that space, but there could also be a trap. Maybe the crystal ball will help us know whether or not there's a trap. I do think I might try and walk and then I'm just gonna, I think that'll be the last one that I do. Cause that'll give me, well, assuming I roll at least one star, which I rolled two stars. So I can move two spaces. Ah. I lose one time, woo, well, regardless. Um, hmm. So if I move two spaces, I can move up to the Ferris wheel, which is getting me closer to the exit. I only really want it to move one space, which technically I could still do. Because if I go here, then I could potentially get an item. What does the crystal ball do? Once per action phase, roll a die. One to four, nothing happens. Five to six, look at the next terror card and place it on the top or bottom. Yeah, I think that's more worth it. So let's move with our little buddies and we're gonna go to the space, things to astonish. Okay, and then we are going to go shopping. But first, we must reset our dices to six. So we have five time to spend and we want it to get a search card. I do, ugh. I wonder. I could have discarded um, a focus to get one more, but I don't know. Actually, yeah, let's just pretend that I did that. Oops, I dropped a card. Okay, so I discarded that, which is gonna give me six. Retcon, retcon, it's fine. So I'm gonna get a search and I'm going to get a furious strike. And that way at least I have a power, more powerful attack if I need it. Okay, so all of these are gonna go back to whence they came. Okay. And that's good because I have a search, I have a movement, I have an attack. I'm feeling properly, whoopsies, properly set up. All right, so in Kenyamba's turn, if Killerath is one or two, then increase, and it is. So we will do that. There's nobody in his space, so he is not attacking. Let's pull a tarot card. Is this a prop? So we're doing an event, then probably someone's gonna die. <laughs> and by probably, I mean definitely. So let's pull that event. Oh, it's a special victim. Did you follow me here? Why do you always tag along? Oh, it's a sibling. Place four new victims at the big top. One of them is a special victim who is your plucky younger sibling. While the sibling is in your space, you may spend two time to reroll one die. If the sibling dies, we increase bloodlust by two. So we need this one. And we need three more. I never bring out <laughs> the spaces to put all of the extra people, but I kind of like to see them all piled there. Unless they have to panic. That would be kind of messy. Okay, so 
If the sibling is in your space, you can spend two time to reroll one die. If they die, plus two. I think I can put that back up there. Okay. Hi, yay, yay. The big top is going to be a blood, blood fest. Perfect event for the story. I agree. Agreed, agreed, agreed. Okay. Discard a random item card. If you have none, discard the top card from the nearest item deck. <laughs> but I wanted the crystal ball. That's so annoying. <laughs> All right, so the crystal ball needs to be discarded. That sucks. That super sucks because now I'm kind of, you know, it was high risk, high reward last time because I could have got the crystal ball. I could get a trap. I don't know if it's even worth searching there. Ay, 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 ay. All right, then they're going to target the closest victim. Stabby stab. So we had Bobby Sue, Stuart, and freaking Philip dead. Bloodlust goes up, and guess what we're doing? Dark power. <laughs> I'm fine though. I'm over here. So we must sacrifice some people. I wish the Ankanyamba would come and take you away right now. <laughs> Does sound like something a sibling would say. At least it wasn't a weapon. If it was me, I would have just found a weapon. Yeah. The only weapon I have up right now is the bullwhip, which could be good. Forest of Mirrors. Ooh, that's actually not bad. Maybe I should try and get down to the Forest of Mirrors because that's where the golf cart is. And then maybe I could get a bullwhip. All right, dark power. Volatile temper. At the end of upkeep, make a horror roll. If it's a success, no effect. If there's no success, unleash killer wrath. Nobody's surprised that he has a volatile temper, right? I'm certainly not. Okay. It is what it is, but that's it. So, it's back over to me. And I just think it is such a risk to search there. So, I, I might save it. I might save it and try and get over here eventually. All I have is a walk card that I can use right now. So before when I thought I was being so clever, it turns out I was less clever than I had thought. Ooh, I have three dice still. Okay, let's roll. Where did I put my walk card? I just put it away. All right, let's walk. Big oof, no success. So, really don't want to lose a heart so I think I will use a close call I think I'll just use I think I'll just reroll one <laughs> I don't know come on be a success it wasn't so drats okay so we're losing one time it's fine um or sorry, we're losing two time. Two time, because we weren't successful. I, right now, don't think that it's worth it for me to lose another... Is it worth it for me to lose another heart? I'm going to do it. <laughs> Sometimes in life, you just, you just got to go for it. Which is going to allow me to move one space, and I will move here. He's just going to be knocking off all these people... So we're not overly concerned about ourselves. And this puts me in a good position to save one more person and then to get over to maybe get a golf cart. Okay, I'm gonna stop my turn there because there's I've got nothing in my hand that will be very helpful. So we have four time to spend. We'll get all of our zero time cards. I think I will get a sprint and I will take a guard, and that way I've got one in my hand. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. 
All right. Brutal. Perfect, yet brutal. Back to Inkanyamba. We are not increasing Killer Wrath because it is at three. There's nobody in their space, so they are attacking the air. We have to remember we have something to do during upkeep. Let's not forget. That is something that I have a tendency to forget. Let's pull the tarot card. Oh good, it's a trap. It's a trap. Where the hell did the blades come from? Good question. Place the splinting place the spinning floor blade trap token in your space. <laughs> okay. Immediately apply the traps effects to you and any victims in your space. Pretty sure the victims are just straight up dead. Um, that sucks. Okay. So tear trap reference, spinning floor blade top, roll two dice. For each result, do the following and it's gonna tell me what to do. So let's roll two dice. Okay, so I got a three and a five. One to three, you take one damage. Hmm, thought I was safe, did I? Five to six, you may move one space. Oh, I forgot to read the top. Whenever a trap, uh, terror trap card comes into play from the terror deck, place the appropriate trap token. Immediately takes effect, you and all victims in your space. Anytime a victim enters or is in a space with a trap token, they are killed. So, just FYI, I've lost my friends. <laughs> uh, this is Billy Bob and Josephine. R.I.P. Um, they are killed. Whenever you enter into a space trap, suffer the effects. So I probably don't want to go back there. So I can move one space, so I will. Oh, that super sucks. If these people panic and they all run into here, we are going to have so much death. So two died. So bloodlust is going to go up two. All right. For each one to four that you rolled, increase horror. Aw. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, that's whatever. That's fine. Right? It's fine. So let's go back to my turn. And I no longer have three dice, and I'm not happy about that. But I do. I'm going to walk. Um, actually, do I have a focus? I do. Let's try to focus and get that third dice back, shall we? Ha ha, we did it. Yay, much better. Okay, now I'm gonna walk and try to get to the Forest of Mirrors so that I can search and also get in that Cardi B. <laughs> Bloodless plus two, Never mind, you got it. It's always good to remind me though, because I would have, I almost did forget. All right, so one, that's fine. Move one space, that's all I needed. I will decrease time by one. Okay. Now, let's search. And let's just hope, because if, here's the thing about searching. If I just have to take the top card, I get the bull whip and I'm safe. If I get two stars and I have to take the top two, if the second card is a trap, I have to resolve it. I still get the bullwhip. So just one star will do. Thank you. Okay, well one star would have done, <laughs> but it didn't. So I will get rid of weak attack and focus to turn this into this. So I got my one star, so I can take the top item I will lose one time. Let's move this for a second. So the bull whip, probably not the time to be singing to myself about whipping something. That's funny. If you damage an enemy with the bull whip, you may then move one space. So for anybody that would like to see it, there it is. Why so blurry? Okay. And that takes one hand. And I think I already lost one time, right? I lost one for walking, one for focus, 
left one. Yeah. Okay. So we're good. Oh boy. I only have three time left. And I have short rest. So Fury Strike we can't use right now. Guard we can't use. Sprint we could use. But I am in the space with the golf cart. Which allows me to move two spaces. So I'm not going to waste... I'm going to start to try and get close to Inky. So I do think I should do a short rest. Because I only have two health left, which is not ideal. Okay. All right. Well, that's fine. I restore one heart. And I lose one time. I really would have liked to have restored two hearts and lost no time. But I suppose that's not how life works. So that's going to be me. I'm going to stop right there because I only have two. Two time to spend. And that is not enough. All right. I will get the walk car card back. Hmm. So with two time, keeping in mind I already have a sprint. I have a sprint. I have an attack. I'm one, and I have a guard, but I'm wondering, it's probably smart to get another guard. I think that's what I'm going to do. And then that way I've got two. And, you know, I've said it once, I'll say it a thousand times. Two is, in fact, better than one. So let's just do that. Boop. Okay, back to Inkanyamba. So, we are not increasing Killer Wrath because it's not at one or two. There's nobody in his space. He is stabbing the air. Oh, I forgot to do that, didn't I? I did. We're going to have to do it. <laughs> All right. It was a star, so no effect. Maybe I didn't have to do it because it just flipped. I don't remember. Regardless, nothing happens. Okay. So, we remember now upkeep. He triggers and my golf cart triggers. Don't let me forget. So, he's attacking nothing, so we're going to just pull a tarot card. Welcome to the greatest show. We have an event. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> we have an event. Then, all victims will move one space closer to the big top, meaning all victims will be at the big top. Place the killer at the big top, <laughs> and then he is going to attack. He will, yeah. I mean, I told you it was going to be a bloodbath in there. I knew it. So let's pull that event first. How dangerous can it be? Hold my beer. During the upkeep phase, each victim moves one space towards the closest trap. Oh. My. God. <laughs> so. Here's the thing. Everybody is about to die. Because the trap that they're walking into, they just, they're just going to be dead. You know, it just is what it is. We have so many upkeep things to remember. All right. So first we need to continue with the terror. All victims are going to the big top. Then we will place... <laughs> the killer in the big top. Then he is going to kill. So we'll just kill one, but the little sibling is there. Does he get targeted first? No, does not, uh, no. So I'm just gonna pick uh, Beth. Oh no, this is about to become the worst game of Lemmings ever, ever, ever. Maybe they will panic away first. Maybe they will. I like your positive outlook. <laughs> so one person has died. Increase bloodlust. Do, 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 do. <laughs> All right. So now it's upkeep phase. I need to see when things trigger. Like, do I panic them first and then do all of the upkeep things? I gotta look at it. 
because that is going to make a hell of a difference. Otherwise, quite literally, everybody, everybody dead. All right, finale check. Nope. Perform any required upkeep indicated events, items, or other cards or special rules. When do I panic? Oh, panic comes before upkeep. Oh, geez louise. In my brain, they happened at the same time. So we are panicking first. Thank, thank in Kinyamba. In Lemmings, this is when you forget your pl to place your traffic stop Lemmings at the cliff. Facts. Okay, so we are panicking everyone because panic phase happens first. I don't know why in my brain I thought panic was part of upkeep and I was literally like, oh my god, this is terrible. This is terrible. So here we go. We're just going to start on the top and work our way down. Okay. Dead. We can't roll a one to three. Six. There's so many of them. Okay, this one's going to the House of Mirrors. Friggin' genius. Oh. Dead. <laughs> Boop. Oh my god. Five. Oh wait. Nope, nope. I misread. One to three is actually. Hold on. I'm moving all of them from the big top because I'm just having a hard time to see. So one to three. So threes actually stay there. Six went to the right spot and five. Five is dead. Okay. Dead. <laughs> Next. Five is dead. Okay, no fives. A two. A two goes here. A six goes here. So these two are going to be dead. A six goes here. Because in upkeep, they're going to move in there. So let's just... Oh, boy. All right, so that's panic. Now we're going to do a bunch of upkeep stuff. So... First, oops, and Inky's got to go back there. First thing we will do, so this happens at the end, the golf cart during upkeep. So let's just do that. You and or two victims can drive two spaces. I want to get close to him, but I can't go through here. So if I hopped off there, that's not, this is not the way. So we're going to go one, two. Okay. So that's that. Then during upkeep, each victim moves one space towards the closest trap. So dead. Boop. Discard the next two terror cards. Dead. Boop. Discard the next two terror cards. <laughs> oh my god. When they are about to die, just delaying the inevitable. It's true. Okay, so everybody else has to move one space towards the closest trap. So, they are not going to go in there. Um, it's equidistant, so these guys are all going to go here. Okay, so that's done. Then, at the end of upkeep, make a horror roll. If I get a star, there's no effect. No stars, we unleash. We unleash rage. Well, do I have... No, I don't have two cards that I can get rid of. So, we will unleash Killer Wrath, which is increasing horror. So we're back down to two dice. I feel like every time I get my third dice, it's ripped from my from my grip in my hand, which I don't like. Okay. P.S. We are down to one terror card. So that 
happened. <laughs> Hello, you made it. Michael Skeleton. I'm assuming I'm pronouncing that right. You made it just in time to watch literally everybody just die. All of these people are falling into a trap that's just blades in the ground, spinning blades. Okay, it's my turn. Um, that was very traumatic. <laughs> so I only have, I have three hearts left and I have no heal. And I think what I need to do is just get to Inkanyamba and just do the old stabby stab. So I do have a Furious Strike and I have a Bull Whip. So, doesn't add anything, but it does let me move out of his space. Hi, yay, 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 yay. Okay, let's sprint. He has nine health. I'm feeling hopeless. <laughs> the good news is that there's so many victims stuck in the spinning blade trap, it can't spin anymore. All right, so we got one star. So we can move two spaces. Hey, buddy. We lose one time. I do have two guard cards also, if I'm unable to move. Wish I had to retaliate. All right, so we are furious striking him because we are freaking mad at him. Okay, one star is going to we're going to have to stop our turn, but I think it's okay. So we're going to hit him once. You idiot. Bop you right in the face. We are going to decrease horror. So three dice back. And then we have to stop our turn. But, but, because uh, we damaged him in the space when we have the bullwhip, we can move away one space. I wonder, let's move here, right? Let's do that. Okay, so I can't do anything else because my turn has to end. I will get my zero time back and we have five time to spend. So we should probably get a retaliate and then I guess a close call. I haven't really felt the need to get an atonement card because we haven't, well, actually, one, two, a bunch of the cards that we discarded would have increased Killer Wrath. So that's not so bad. So I think Retaliate is smart and then we'll get a close call. Um, can you get to the clown cars to save the other three? Clown cars? I can't because I could only move... Oh, whoopsies, what did I have? Oh, yeah, I had to stop my turn because I only rolled one star for my Furious Strike. So I couldn't, and this only let, the Bullwhip only let me move one space, um, and that was two spaces away. I wish. Can you move, or does it move him? <gasps> oh, you may move them one space. Aha, okay. Well, let's move them up here. Thank you. Good thing everybody knows these cards better than I do. All right. So Furious Strike's going back. Sprint is going back. Um, right. So they are... So he's not automatically hitting me, which is good because we've moved him. All right. Let's go to... Look at all these dead people. Yikes. Let's go back to Inkanyamba's turn. All right, so we are not increasing Killer Wrath because it is at three. They are attacking the air. And then we will pull our very last tear. Oh, God damn it. I have to increase horror. I just got the three dice back. He's coming and there's nothing we can do. If there are no victims on the board, discard and draw the next terror, but there are. Otherwise, we are going to be increasing horror. He will then move towards the closest victim and he will, in fact, kill them. So one, he's going to move towards um, these ones and he can obviously make it. So he's going to kill one, 
Joke's on them. There's no tarot cards left. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, we laugh. But now he's there with them. And I'm two spaces away and I don't have a sprint. Oh, no. Okay. So we are going to panic. We are going to panic. So these two have to panic. Please do not roll a six. Because if we can get them away, then they're not going to be walking into that trap. Otherwise, they're both dead anyway. They're as good as dead. Okay, we rolled a five. Perfect. They're going to go up there. And a two. They're going to go up there. You love to see it when panic works. However, now we're into upkeep. They're going to move one space towards the closest trap. So one, two, one, two. They will both move into my space because that just makes sense to me. This guy, though, he's dead. Boop, dead. Discard two tarot cards. Can't. He really doesn't want them to die in the blade trap, does he? He doesn't. He wants to do it himself. He wants to do it himself. Okay. Upkeep. That was one thing. We're not at the golf cart. He is going to do something. And it is going to be crazy. We're making a horror roll. Please get a star. Didn't. Shoot. Unleash Killer Wrath. Four is going to go up by one. We are getting further and further away from our three dice that we so loved before. So many people are dead. <laughs> Ooh, okay. It's our turn. Do we flip? Um, I always forget. Hold, please. Do I flip that now? Reveal the finale card. All right, let's reveal. This happens now. Violent tantrum. Yeah, just like a child, he's throwing a tantrum at the carnival. So, moving forward, his killer action is going to be to unleash Killer Wrath, then increase it by three, then target whoever's closest, move, and kill. Or attack. Aye, aye, aye. What a tantrum. What a tantrum. Feeling not super confident because he still has, he still has eight health. <laughs> ah, bummer. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. I have exactly 10. Um, the only attack I have is a weak attack. Just FYI. <laughs> But I do have two focus cards. I don't know if it's a waste to use them because he is just going to keep increasing horror and they might cost me some time. So I wonder, I might short rest. That feels smart. Let's short rest. Shoot. Okay, let's get rid of some stuff. Um... I'll get rid of my focus cards. That is going to gain me one heart, lose me one time. So short rest. I will, I'm going to try and walk to him because I do have a retaliate and two guard cards. I do have a close call. So let's use the close call. I'll spend the time. <gasps> oh, wait a minute. I am in the space with the sibling. I can spend two time to re-roll. Meaning I don't have to spend. I can only re-roll one. I don't have to spend the close call though. So let's do it. Okay, and then I'll use the close call to re-roll. I have to spend the two time. Give me a star. Damn it. 
<laughs> oh, this isn't, this sucks. <laughs> um, okay, so no stars. I don't want to get rid of anything. I'm going into my hood of sadness. I can move one space, lose a heart, and two time. I don't want to lose a heart. So I will just lose the two time. And then, that only gives me one time to spend. I'm just wondering. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get rid of my weak attack and my walk card to gain two time. I don't know if that, that wasn't really helpful. <laughs> I wanted that furious strike. Hmm. I need to be able to do some damagio to him. This is gonna be brutal. All my cards spent, gone. The amount of times you miss the dice tray is absolutely fascinating. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. I know. Ah, I'm about to die. I'm thinking I might, this is probably dumb, but I'm gonna sell my guard so that I can buy the Furious Strike. And then I have a Retaliate, a guard, and a Furious Strike. Is that good? Probably not, but here we are. I'm thinking that the Forbidden Souvenir was Unlucky Dice and Inky was trying to keep away from gamers. I think so, I think so too. I think you are not wrong. All right. So that's me. So in Kenyamba, we are unleashing Killer Wrath. Okay, so horror is increasing. We are increasing Killer Wrath by three. One, two, three. Oh, that sucks. Um, then he is going to move to uh, toward whomever is closest. And that's going to be all of us because we're all in the same space. Then he's going to attack. Um, he will attack the victims first, obviously. Somebody's dead. We don't really care about bloodlust anymore because there's no terror cards left. So honestly, do I care if these victim dies? I don't. I care 0% about that. That's it. Right? That's it. That guy's gonna be dead soon too. <laughs> But now it's just me and him. Because the sibling's going to die for sure, unless he panics away. I mean, let's see. Whoop, two. Yep. <laughs> He's a persistent little one, isn't he? Okay, so upkeep. Uh, He's going to move towards the closest track. He'll come here. Then we are going to make a horror roll during upkeep, see if we're unleashing. Okay, we are unleashing Killer Wrath. You'll love to see it. So, he is targeting me, because I'm already there. Meat shields, they tried to help, didn't they? Okay, so, he's attacking me, but guess what? I don't even care. I don't even care, because I have a retaliate. Yes, I do. And that is exactly what I will do. So he is attacking me for three. So let's retaliate and just hope. Are you kidding? <laughs> Are you kidding? The way that they spun made it look so promising. I am not getting rid of these cards. So... I could use a guard. I can't believe I didn't roll a single one. You know where these guys are going? Straight to jail. Straight to freaking jail. So I have to lose three hearts. However, that is going to give me a little bit of adrenaline. I'll get an extra die. So that's good. That's fun. Okay, so let's get rid of that. I'm not going to use the guard 
I'm saving it <laughs> because I feel like that's the smart thing to do. I just feel like that. So I think that's it because we unleashed. Now it's going to be my turn. He better look out because I have a furious strike. Let's put these in jail. Straight to jail. Let's try these ones. <sighs> and we are going to do a furious strike. And then we'll just buy. Oh, wait. No, I don't get those back yet. Please give me two stars. You beautiful fresh dice. Two stars. Phew. Okay, so we hit him twice. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he's down to six health. And we decrease horror by one. Yes, suck in Kenyamba. Then that's all I can do because <laughs> I just have a card. So we will shop. We will shop. We have five or six. We have six to spend, which is great. Now, technically, because I have the bullwhip, Does the bullwhip add a damage? Oh, it does. He should have two less then, because I've hit him twice now. All right, so he's actually down to four, because I've hit him twice with the bullwhip, and that adds one damage. And I can move him. However, it doesn't matter, because I can only move him one space, and he has five movement. So it's just going to make him angrier if I do that. Doesn't the bullwhip add damage? It's like we think of these things at the same time. Yes. I'm so glad that you mentioned it because if I hadn't just like happened to look down at that, I would have totally missed that. Okay. So we have six to spend. We are getting some stuff back. If we have six and we already have a guard card, do we just get... A critical blow. Mm, he's attacking me twice. He's attacking me two times because we're gonna unleash. So he's gonna attack. So I'll need, oh, you can't see that. He's going to unleash on his turn and which is an attack. Then we're gonna increase by three. One, two, three. Um, and then he might unleash again. So he's possibly attacking me twice. And I only have one guard. And I only have one health. So the smart thing to do is to get a guard for two. So I have four left. I could... I could get an atonement card. But that's not going to help me right now, is it? Hmm. Improvise could be fine. Hmm. 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 Well, what should I do here? I guess I could get an improvise. So that's five. And then I could just get a close call for six. Because there's no other, the retaliate. Oh, I couldn't buy because I'd already used it. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten cards. I have two guard cards. Yikes. Atonement to discard for partials. Hmm. Hmm. He could target the victim over you if he moves, right? That's true but he's not he's not gonna move because he's targeting whoever's closest and he's already in my space but you are right I could have pushed him and then he would have favored the victim and then let's retcon <laughs> retcon okay I pushed him there which does that change what I bought it might Hmm. Yeah. I, this might be a terrible decision, but I will spend the six. I'm going to put these back. 
I'm just gonna spend the six to get the critical blow. I have a guard. Because I pushed him away, he will want to attack my sibling first, which I'm totally fine with. Don't care. Then when we unleash up here, he's gonna come back to me because I'll be the only one left. And then I have a guard and we'll just, I have lots of throwaway cards. Okay, I think that that's a good solution. <laughs> I still don't know that I feel very confident, but I feel like that is better. Mm -hmm. So let's do that. All right, so let's unleash. So he's gonna move towards my sibling. Um, oops, sorry. Oh no, yeah, that's right. So he's moving here and then he's attacking. pa -chow! Sorry, RIP, increase blood loss by two, boop, boop, don't care. Um, then he, we're gonna increase by three. One, two, three. Yikes. Luckily, still only attacking once and not twice. Because if it was twice, we'd be RIP'd for sure. Okay. Then. Yeah, I could still be dead. Because if. Because he's going to move towards me, right? So we're back here. I need. <laughs> I need to roll a star. Otherwise, I'm dead. But listen, we had to take this risk. We had to. We probably didn't have to, but I did. I did it. <laughs> All right, so he's uh, coming after me. I have a guard. And I roll three dice because I have got that adrenaline pumping. And he is hitting me for three. So I need two stars. And if I don't get two stars, then we'll have to flip over my last heart token. Yeah, you're right. It's definitely, that's exactly what's going to happen, Alan. Listen, they don't call me the two star queen for nothing, but I did get two stars. So we got the two stars. So I ignore all damage. Phew. Phew! <laughs> okay, now it's upkeep. So we need another star. Um, nothing else during upkeep matters because there's no more victims and the golf cart is just in limbo. Woo. All right. Oh my god. I will discard two to get a star. God. So we're not unleashing. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. That's fine. Who even cares about that focus card? Not me. Woohoo. All right. So. Oh my God. I need to do a critical blow. Here's, here are things that I'm thinking. A critical blow is three damage and that won't kill him, okay? If I don't get two stars on that critical blow, I have to stop my turn. So I'm wondering, should I do a weak attack? Because I only need, oh, but that could kill me. I could do a short rest. But if I don't get any stars, I have to stop my turn. But at least, I just feel like I need to short rest first. I have cards that I can, <laughs> is this a terrible idea? I just feel like I need to short rest so that I have at least one. Oh, but then I want a three stars. <gasps> oh, the whip will do the fourth. Thank God you guys are here. <laughs> I think we just have to go for it then, right? Because if I, if I did short rest, then I wouldn't get three dice because I would be healed. We need two stars. I have cards that I can discard. Hold on. <laughs> I'm not walking anywhere anyway. Okay? So, <laughs> I'm so stressed out. So we got two stars. So, I'm just gonna decrease the horror now. <laughs> We are getting rid of these three hearts. 
and with the bull whip, we'll hit for one more. If he has another heart, he is not dead. But he doesn't. <laughs> and he is dead. And I killed him. And this is the best feeling ever because I've never, ever, 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 ever beat in Kenyamba. I have defeated my arch nemesis. And life is pretty good. Let's see. Oh my god. <laughs> I had three hearts left. What was, what was I worried about? That's also never. I've never had the three hearts. Luck was on my side today at the carnival, apparently. Drum roll. Woohoo! We did it. We did it. We did it. We freaking did it. I feel so accomplished. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys told me to just go for the critical blow. Bravo, team. Bravo. I wonder. Hold on. I just want to check the item card that I was going to get. Okay, it wasn't a trap. But that was. So if I had gotten two stars when I was in the Forest of Mirrors, I would have also gotten a trap. Yeesh. I joined late. Can someone tell me why Jamie is rolling three dice? Horror is too high for three. No white health chips. I only had one heart left. So because all of my other hearts were gone and I just had this left, it gives me one extra die. It's adrenaline. So that's why I got three. So you don't only get three if there's a white. But had I died and come back with these three hearts, the white acts in the same way. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Jim. Watching from my wife's hospital room. Oh, Joe. This will help pass some time. Whoa, we're just finishing up here, Jim. But tell Joe I say hi and I hope that she feels better soon. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that was in Kenyamba and Cindy at the circus. Geoff, did you just arrive? Because if you did, I have defeated the Inkanyamba, who is also my arch nemesis. So I am passing my arch nemesis on to you, my luck to you, meaning you will in fact be able to defeat him as well. I've been playing wrong. I thought it was only with white. Thank you. Oh yeah, that should help. Hopefully that should help you a bit. Look at that body count. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people died. A lot of people died at the carnival today, but do you know who didn't die? Me. I sacrificed all of those victims, including my little brother. It is what it is. Okay. So thank you everybody for joining for today. That was super fun. Our next stream is going to be the last Friday of the month, uh, which I don't know the exact date off by heart, but I can tell you. I can tell you for sure because I have a calendar on my phone. So Friday, April 26th, we'll be doing one of the like full sets. So not a mix and match. Um, you will be able to vote for who or which one I play in the Discord, Van Rider Games Discord. Um, I wonder, I might, I'm going to drop the link to the Discord in chat if I can find it real quick. And then that way people can join if they would like to join. If you're not already in the Van Rider Games Discord, Feel free to join because then you get to vote on who I play the second Wednesday of every month, the last Friday of every month. Um, and speaking of streams, on the, I think the 23rd of April, Julie and I will be live streaming another graphic novel adventure. We're going to be doing the Crusoe Crew. Um, it's a co-op version, which is going to be super fun. So we're going to be playing each our own character um so tune in for that but definitely join the discord and then you get to vote on you know who i possibly fight and hopefully beat and not die but i think that's everything for today so thanks for joining i'll see you guys again in a couple of weeks and uh i'm just trying to think if there's anything else that i had to say but there isn't all right so i'm going to say goodbye